Uh, let's just have a bit of a run round the room then and try and get a bit of a feel for the sorts of things that people are talking about that you think are your headlines. So does anybody want to sort of give us a starter? Yeah. Um, we had two big ones. Genetic diversity was the first one. Yep. Brilliant. So, question to your table then. Is genetic di diversity uh, a negative or a positive? Uh, kind of, we need more genetic diversity. Okay, yeah, so good. Yeah. Because if you're a geneticist, geneticists love diversity. If there's no diversity in the population, you don't make progress. So I'm really pleased you said that. It's just knowing where to go with it, isn't it? Excellent. Really good start. Right, who wants to have another go before I start picking on tables? Well, you guys in the middle there, come on, you were talking. I was talking with you. Feed costs. Feed costs. That's right. Absolutely. But it was feed costs and it was particularly sort of forage use, wasn't it? Forages and utilisation yeah. and so on that you were talking about, yeah? And sorry, the other thing? Land cost, of course it was, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's really difficult, and that's that's been as much as anything the roller coaster of our sheep producers as well is that you know we end up being on the worst land because that's the only land and and of course that then impacts on it's a, it's a do double-edged sword isn't it it's a vicious circle okay brilliant right other groups anybody got any other things well, we've kind of talked about, uh, predators. predators yep have we have lots of thing lots of foxes and we also have what we call black and white foxes, alias the badger. But we're not allowed to do anything to badgers anymore. I'm being very politically incorrect now, aren't I? But we've obviously got a massive TB problem. Um, but unfortunately, uh, and this wouldn't go down too well with certain people at home, but I will say it. Unfortunately, we made the badger a protected species of some years ago. And so now we have a problem. And badgers will take, our badgers will take lambs, a lot of lambs. Um, and they're talking about introducing the lynx back again, but that's, that's talk at the moment. Oh, yeah, and, and there's been talk about wolves as well, but the lynx is the one at the moment. But I guess we haven't got the same problem. Coyotes would be a big problem for you. I know when I was in Montana 30-odd years ago, I remember seeing the ranch I was on, they got um, little cyanide, sticky cyanide capsules out for the coyotes. Yeah. I don't think you use that anymore, no. no. I, it sticks in my mind. Okay, predators. Anything else? Okay, so lack of anthelmintics or lack of medicines? Uh, lack of medics specifically. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I know I was talking to Elena. I've put medicines for sheep in there because I think, you know, we'll, we'll talk about anthelmintics, but I think generally you've got an issue. Yes? I'll resonate with that, okay. Yep, okay. I spent half my life doing that, so don't get me started while I'll be here for a week. Good sheep vets. Brilliant. So knowing actual costs. Okay, I'm going to have to go to another page. This is brilliant. Fantastic, okay. Right now, the topic of the day is resistance to antibiotics. Mm. Okay, AMR resistance, yeah. And is that an issue in sheep production in Canada? Do you see resistance? Yeah, making it, uh, okay. So you would be a bit similar to us in that as sheep producers, our antibiotic use is relatively small. I, I'm not saying that... We get tarred with the same brush, okay? Yeah, 
Okay, I'm with you on that. That would be very similar to us. Yep. Yep. Is being consumer driven or whether the consumer understands it or not. Right, okay. Uh, and sometimes the consumer has to believe what they're told. Um, we find that with our big retailers. They will say, well, our customers want, and my retort to that is, but your customers are wanting it because that's what you're telling them. It's a bit of a, a double-edged sword, isn't it? So, I mean, what's so lovely is that, you know, there's a group of people here with an umbrella, Alberta land producers, and one of the questions I was discussing on your table was that where we are in the UK now, our carcass size is as much limited by the fact that the retailers say, well, our customer won't spend more than £10 in money um, on a cut of meat. Therefore, the cut of meat has to be that big. That's the size of our packs. We don't want more meat in a lump than that. And so we've got ourselves, if you like, in a cleft stick. And my question over there was, well, are you guys that far down the road? Or do you, as a producer association, still have a bit more that you could say to influence that side of things? Because we certainly are in a pretty tight spot now, as far as that's concerned. OK. Yep. Marketing. Marketing. OK. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because presumably I've seen on some of the stuff that Robin sent me, transport and moving. I mean, we think we move sheep a long way. I mean, I'll send sheep 200 miles to one of the big abattoirs. I mean, we've got 155 abattoirs in the UK, but it's the 80-20 rule. 80% of the animals are slaughtered in 20% of them. And so they will travel a couple of hundred miles, but that's nothing for you guys, is it? No. Okay. Um, so, so, so location, if I put that there. Yeah. Okay. So we've got quite a long list. Brilliant. Okay. And we could go on and we'll come back because this afternoon when we break again, I'll, um, we're going to have a little bit of a session in terms of, well, okay, we've got that list. What are you going to do about it? Okay. Or after I've spoken for a bit longer and hopefully sown a few seeds. Because what I'd like to do is for you to go away with a few ideas. Like I say, it's not for me to tell you how to do it, but I think a lot of it is um, for us to realise perhaps where we are um, so that we can, can move it on. But that's brilliant. Thank you for that, playing that. Because it's, it's a bit of a risk when you don't know any people and, and you sort of put them in groups and say, right, go away and talk about it. And you all just went straight in. Fantastic.